Chris Jordan, the governor, says this was a tough decision to make, but he took a close look at the COVID-19 data as well as the strain coronavirus cases we're putting on hospitals, and he says ultimately this was the right decision to make. Governor Charlie Baker was not holding back during his coronavirus briefing on Tuesday, announcing major changes in the state during the coronavirus pandemic. In effect of this Sunday, the Commonwealth will move every community in Massachusetts back to phase three, step one. This will reduce indoor capacities across a broad range of sectors of the economy and tighten several other workplace restrictions. Here's a look at the changes come Sunday. Outdoor gatherings at event venues will be limited to 50 people. Anyone hosting outdoor gatherings with more than 25 people will have to notify their local Department of Public Health ahead of time. Indoor theaters, performance centers, and small recreational businesses will be forced to close temporarily. And outdoor theaters and performance venues will be limited to 50 people. Here is the list of businesses that will have to reduce capacity from 50% to 40%, including arcades, gyms, offices, and retail stores. Governor Charlie Baker pleading with the public to take COVID-19 safety precautions in and outside of your homes. Try to take advantage of the guidance. Don't spend a lot of time in indoor spaces with people you don't live with. Also under phase three, step one, restaurants and venues will be feeling the impact. Here are just a few of the changes. Customers will have to wear a mask at all times, and now only six people will be allowed to sit at a table. And food courts in malls will be closed. Plus, everyone in an office must wear a mask when they're not in their workspace. And if you're heading to the gym, masks must be worn at all times. These decisions might seem easy to some people, who don't have to live with them. But they don't feel that easy to the people that do. And again, this all goes into effect on Sunday. Coming up tonight at Western Mass News at 6 o'clock, what local health officials say about rolling back the guidance. Working for Western Mass News, I'm Sarah Grinelli.